Hello everyone, welcome back around the kitchen table for this episode of Commander with Friends. This episode we've got myself playing Ishin, who cares about combat triggers. We've got Dalfort playing Toxrill, who's making some slugs. We have Krovex playing Mr. O, who's doubling some power. And lastly we've got first appearance of Carl, who is playing Anthros, and he's playing some Shadow Board Apostles and getting some demons. Play a swamp. Play a Shadow Board Apostle. Nice. Uh, did you say done? Yeah. Alright. I'll draw, play a forest, and pass. Nice. I will draw. I will play a mountain and pass. I will draw. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to play Morphic Pool. What enters the battlefield taps unless you have two or more opponents. Um... I'm your friend. Carl's your friend. Comes in tapped. Yeah, that thing comes. Yeah, it comes in tapped. We're all friends here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to tap it for a soul ring. <laughs> and then I'm going, to tap the, I'm going to tap the soul ring for a skull clamp. Scoop. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Draw. Two shadow bone apostles. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Quick question: Can you can you attach equipment to other people's stuff? No. 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 Another apostle. For that start, I thought I'm going to hit you for one. <laughs> Fair. First blood. And pass time. Alright, I will untap up, keep draw. I'm going to tap this forest for a green. Play a Dark Gazries, or however you say it, Caldera, returning forest to my hand. Then I'll tap the Caldera for another green, and play an Explore, and draw a card. Oh, and I will play a Terramorphic Expanse as my second land for turn from the Explore. Then I will crack that for a Mountain. Yeah, for a... No, I'm going to grab a Swamp. And then pass the turn, as I grab that Swamp. Cool. So, we're going to go to the next turn on tap. Draw a card. I will play this planes. I will tap both my land for a guild artisan, which is a legendary uh, enchantment background. Commander creatures uh, you own have, whenever this creature attacks a player, if no opponent has more life than a there. If the opponent, let me click on that on here. Uh, if no opponent has more life than that player, I create two treasures. And then I'll pass the turn after I've finally got through reading that. Okay. One tap. Draw. Well, that's my card as well. Um. I'm going to play a Riddlewink, no, Reliquary Tower. I always want to say Riddlewink really, or something. I will keep <laughs> putting it in anyway. It's that one that allows me to have no maximum hand size. Um, and that's the turn. Might as well. Bring one at you with eight and one at Grimax. 
see. Yeah, one of me. I'll take one. And then that's me done. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. Play the forest as my land for turn. And I'm going to tap two for an arcane signet. And then I'm going to pay a green and a red for a bard class. And then pass the turn. Is that an enchantment? It is an enchantment. Okay. Uh, in response, I'm going to swan song it for one blue. All right, then I'll make a bird token. Yep. Let me look up a bird token. I'm, I'm still passing the turn. Cool. Well, there's bard class on screen, even though we got swan songed. You just want me to type in cards now, don't you? Who, me? Yeah. Because I've got a last card thing on stream now. Oh, I've right, been sure. really fancy. Yeah, no, that's cool. <laughs> Completely yeah. forgetting cool. that I can't <laughs> spell for toffee. <laughs> Right, untap, draw, I'll play Swamp, and then, uh, hmm, I could do that, I could do that. So for three, uh, tap, I'll play a Command Sphere, Command Sphere, I will tap said Command Sphere, no I won't, because that doesn't work. I will pass the turn, because reading the card explains the card and shows you how much mana they cost. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, I've drawn for the turn. Well, I will play a clear water pathway showing blue rather than the back side of it. Nice token. Yep. I like that. Special from Affinity for Commander, actually. Nice. No, that is nice. I, like, I do like that myself. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, I, I got it. Uh, I won it in a uh, Christmas giveaway that they did. Oh, nice. Well, that wasn't clever, Barry. I have passed the turn because I should have chose the other side of that card. Never mind. <laughs> All the misplays. Yeah. Trying to play an Ozark Basilisk. And trying to play it from. And then I will have that. Alright. Untap. Keep draw. Hmm. I'm going to pay three mana for a Krinko 10 Street Kingpin. Nice. I actually need that to tap up. Tap up this way, actually. And then pay one green for a Rancor cool. on to Grinko. And then I think I'm going to go to combat and swing two at Dalfort in the air mm -hmm. with that lovely bird he gave me. Yep. And I think I should have perhaps kept all of the Swan Song to get rid of the Rancor. Um, oh. then when, with that, I'll pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Draw. Let's play Tapped Land. Ooh, let's get it on screen. Uh, hmm. Let's boop. Let's play Ishin out of the command zone. And that will be me. Okay. One tap. Draw. We'll play a swamp this time. Good choice. Mm, what? <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
six is not a good number. Okay, so <clears throat> black, black, and one, three, four. So Conrad, the Grim, whenever another creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, or a creature card leaves my graveyard, so Conrad the Grim deals one damage to each opponent. For one and a black, each player mills a card. Mm. Pass it in. Okay. And tap. Four. Okay, playing. One, three, four, five. For a Vanquisher's banner. Oh, nice. Name and human. I will pass time. All right, I will untap. And you said that was human that you called for your banisher yeah. or for your banner. Yeah. Right. Let's throw those shadow well, puzzles in there. I'm going to pay four mana, and you want to put my commander into play. And then I'm going to go to combat, and I'm going to attack with Krenko. I have two triggers. Mr. Orfero is going to double Krenko's power uh, first. So he's a 3 2. Now make him a 6 2. And then you'll get a plus one, plus one counter. So you'll make seven goblin tokens. Think we're in trouble. And since Carl, you have the highest life total, I'll send him your way. And he's a 7 3. He's a 7 3. Yes, with trample. Well, I'm gonna chuck both apostles underneath them. And then They're they both uh, two twos. Yeah. All right. And so three damage gets through, I suppose. Four. Yeah, and then up to you. Uh, they go to my hand. Or if you take three life for each. Oh, uh, who are you targeting with that ability? You quarterback. Um, I think I will go ahead and put them, uh, let you put them back into your hand. Okay. Okay, I get some triggers for deaths. Yep. It says whenever another creature dies, so they've actually died, haven't they, even though they've gone back to your hand? Yeah. Yes, they yeah. do die, and then yeah. they leave oh. the graveyard, but you only get the death triggers. So a total yeah. of three of those triggers from the, uh, sure. Sir Conrad. Cool. So one damage to each opponent, so you all take three. What? Change your hand unless an opponent pays three. Unless target opponent pays three. Ah. Spicy. Yeah, it's a nice card. Mm. Sorry, I missed where we were up to. And, and with that, I will pass the turn. Okie dokie. Right. Untap. Draw. Uh, play a command tower. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. How come you got so many goblins untapped? Well, because of the cranker. Oh. That's, that's not good. Right. Then, I made him read what I've got in hand. Attacks, if you're a defending player, make some ogres. That might be a thing. Uh, these aren't combat triggers. This is no good. I need combat triggers. Can I to the number? Good as you control. Bro, so tap that for a white, tap the planes for another white, and we'll tap the swamp. And I will play uh, Adeline, who always does not show up well on there. There we go. Uh, so she is a 2-4, and whenever I attack each, 
each opponent creates a 1 1 white human creature token that's tapped it. What? For each for each opponent, that reads much better, doesn't it? Uh, create a 1 1 white human attacking that player or a planeswalker they control. Is that Miria? Um, yeah, similar. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, what do we do here? If an attack, uh, Carl, you're open, aren't you? I see, I don't want to pick on you, but you're open. <laughs> I'm going to come at you, Carl, for three, my friend. Okay, uh, okay. And, and because. When you. Go on. No, no, uh, you have your triggers. Yeah, there's a trigger for the guild artisan, but cause on the lowest life total so it doesn't give me any treasures right if no opponent has more life than that player <clears throat> yeah no but you get to make a total of six one one a tapped and attacking soldier token so oh i thought this had i thought this triggered only on, no whenever on you it. attack with anything oh wow All right so i better make some tokens uh one one humans Oh, how do I make multiple on here? There might be a copy function for that. And two of them will be attacking each of us. Make another two. Make so you can copy. X. Okay. What? I haven't got an extra issue. Where's that come from? <laughs> you must have missed like somewhere. <laughs> Learn how to play on Moxfield with Woody. How <laughs> uh, you doing? Doing all right, mate. It's all right, isn't it? It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Dan. Right. Okay. I will block one of your soldier tokens with Bird and the other one with Mister or Pharaoh. And I will block Con one of them with Sir Conrad. Which means one goes through. And we'll have three death triggers. From the Sir Conrad. Oh, I don't yeah. like that. <laughs> that was a good choice. I was only in art where to play that one or, or another one in my hand, so. Oh. Cool. And then, is everyone else taking their damage? I think yeah. That, I think that's me. Cool. And now I re I'll, I'll uh, appreciate this card a little more. <laughs> on, on tap. Raw. Interesting. Yeah, and play Swamp. Swamp. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So. Uh, with that, I'm going to tap two. Two black. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Play my commander. At the beginning of each end step, put a slime counter on each creature you don't control. Creatures you don't control get minus one, minus one for each slime counter on them. Whenever a creature you don't control uh, with a slime counter on it, guys, create a 1-1 one, one black slug creature token. For a blue and a black, I can sacrifice a slug to draw a card. Doctrill is a 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, that will kill seven of my 1-1 one, one goblins. So you'll get seven. Yeah, you said the end. It's technically it's at the end step, though, isn't it? Oh, I thought you said you're going to your end step. Yeah, no, no. Sorry, I was just literally reading the card. Um, are you open, Chris? Or was that a zero four? I've got. It's currently a one, two, three, four, five, four. A five, four. A oh, five, I don't want to be doing that. No, it's okay. I will pass to the end of the turn then. Cool. I'll lose right. three tokens. My seven goblins will die. Okay, so everyone takes 10. Oh my lord. Oh, I think I missed a death trigger, so I think I need to take 3, and then I need to take 10. Cool. Yeah, and then um, your... Can, can you put tokens on then? No. Have you done that? Uh, the, sorry, the tokens were on the attack trigger, so they're dead. No, no, sorry. The, the slime token on your two creatures. Oh, uh, I can put a token on it. It doesn't say what counter, though. Uh, essentially, put minus one, minus one counters on them. Oh, I see. They're not. A idea. Yeah, they're not. They're slime counters, just in case 
there are, you know, a difference is required. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know if you but can... You, you do make 10 uh, slug tokens, Alfred. Oh, yeah, true. What? Hmm. Is there a way of putting minus counters on this? Is that... I don't know. Add a counter. One counter. I'm sure that there is. Yeah, I thought there was. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's me passing the turn anyway, isn't it? So. Sure. You might not need to bother, Chris. Yeah, that seems fair, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can set parent toughness, which is pretty cool. There we go, that looks like it's got minus one, minus one, right? Uh, although that's... I think when we I think when we had a play with it that day, I think there are minus one, minus one tokens somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Someone with more experience can uh, comment on the video and tell a... me how to do it. I'm going to play a possible draw card. Another apostle draw a card. And I'm going to pass time. Alright, okay. we have a, another uh, yeah. talks roll on, trigger now. Yeah, on your end step. Is it every everyone? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. On, at the beginning of each end step. Oh my lord. Oh, I got my end step, <laughs> Oh, I like it, go. Go. <laughs> Do it. And that is what I should have saved this one song for. I know. No, or you get to the game seven life dollar for it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. Now, our, our stuff still does have the uh, the toxic or the uh, the counters on them. They just don't have minus one, minus one anymore. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And you're then are you passing the, the turn coral? Yeah, I'm passing time. Alright. Untap up keep draw. And well, let's see here. I'm going to Well first I'm going to Pay one green and put Rancor on the bird token. And then I'm going to go to combat and swing the bird token at Dalfort. And Balder will double its power to eight. And swing eight in the air at you. And then in my second main phase, I'm going to pay three mana. And play a path to the festival and tutor up a basic mountain to put into play tapped. I'll then have three, uh, at least three basic land types in play, then I'll be able to scry one, but I'll I'll pass the turn while I'm searching, and I'll let you guys know what I do with the scry when that comes up. Okie doke. On tap and draw. Play a mountain. I am going to reread this card. Yeah, that does what I thought it did. There's uh, the mountain. Hmm, there's a possibility. Maybe. Is that a good thing? Probably isn't. That's so many death triggers, I think we'd all die. I think we would all die. So... For red... Red, white, uh, two more, tapped, please, thank you. Uh, let's, let's see if I can pronounce this properly. Karul, Tyrant of the Cliffs. So I'm going to play. And then, what do I do then? Two mana... Two mana, I'll play a Lightning Greaves. 
and I think I'm just going to pass the turn. Okay. I'm very scared over here. Untap. Draw. I'm going to keep the scry on top. Okay. Okay, we're going to play it. An island. Go to uh, pay one and attach the skull clamp to a slug, which will kill it. I get to draw two cards, and everyone takes one damage from the comrade. Hmm. Yeah. Take a damage. I think we're all dead, Dave. Can't get I can't get my commander back in. See this this card is in the deck. I'm gonna tap I'm gonna tap out. And it's in the deck, but it doesn't play on the spell table very well. It's called Grave Betrayal. Whenever a creature you don't control dies, return it to the battlefield under your control with an additional plus one plus one counter on it at the beginning of the next end step. That creature is a black zombie in addition to its other types. But it's there, and it's a good card. So I'm going to play it. It just means I'm going to have to do loads of... Uh, um, I loads think of... it just means you're going to have to kill us all before we lose creatures. <laughs> oh. I'll, try, I'll try. I think that's the way uh, forward. Okay. So your apostles are two twos, aren't they? Yeah. Because of the banner. Um, that's a 3-5 commander for Crovax, isn't it? Uh, two four. Two four. Oh yeah, because it's a slime token, not a, not a one. Uh, I think I'm just going to swing Sir Crovax. Uh, Sir Crovax. Sir Crovax. Crovax. <laughs> Conrad. <laughs> At the with the five four. Yeah. I think I'll just take the five. Okie dokie. Uh, pass it. What's Conrad's Conrad's second ability? Oh, Mills a card. Okay. Yeah. Which can also ping ping everybody from yeah. whatever creature. Ooh, I'm gonna play Thalia Heretic Partner. So first strike three or four three creatures and on base and hand them. Get the score of card. Hmm. Yeah, Thalia has a new frog friend. <laughs> she does. And you did get your card draw trigger, right, for your banner? Yeah, yeah I got a card draw. All right. And then, uh, what's the play? Tabarat, I hope the mice. So it's a flying 2 2 demon. Um, whenever a non token creature, quick control dies, I get put a plus one counter on it. If it's a cleric, I can draw a card and lose a life, and when he has five or more plus one counters on it. Nice. Great, great. I'm sorry, uh, what, what, uh, what's his name? Tabarak. Tabarak. Hope's demise. Mm. I'm sorry, uh, can you, well, uh, his name one more time, it's not coming up on my thing. Yeah, it's T-A-B. T-A-B. O-R-A-X. Oh, Tabarak hopes demise. Okay, yeah, I know him. And then I'm going to pass turn to Crowback. All right. Yeah. My text box isn't working on spell table. <laughs> <laughs> There's a text box? Yeah, to search for the um, Oh, right. Card. 
I thought you meant like a chat. <laughs> no, no, no. I haven't got any friends. I'm tap up, keep draw. I will play Baron Moore, which comes into play tapped for two reasons. <laughs> and then I will pay five mana for a Sigardian Z lot, which will come to play tapped. And because I really want to not let Dalfort get the uh, slime online, I will go to combat, and with the Zealot, I can, at the beginning of combat on my turn, choose any number of creatures with different powers. Each of them gets plus X plus X and Vigilance until in a turn where X is the Zealot's power. I'm going to get Boulder, plus three, plus three, and, well, uh, his power is three, and the bird plus three plus three. They also get vigilance. Then I'm going to go to combat and swing the bird, now the now vigilant bird, at Dalfort, and I'll trigger Boulder's ability on the bird. So that'll be 14. Mm. Nice. He's a 7-2 he's a double to 14. That's a 14 in the air. Okay. Don't... And for the Boulder... I don't think I need to send... I don't think I can really send them anywhere. Yeah, I'll keep the boulder at home. And just swing the bird at Dalfort. Done. And after that, I will pass the turn. Cool. I'm going to end step. I'm going to sacrifice my uh, command sphere to draw a card. And then I'm going to untap and draw for the turn. That doesn't really do much. Let's play... Doubly tapped land. Um, I cannot do anything because if I do every do anything, we're all dead. I think because of Sir Conrad. Oh, I hate this game. <laughs> mm, spirits I control get that. Doing that. Do I just kill us all? Is the other question and get game two in. <laughs> I don't think that's fun though for everybody, is it? It depends whether you want me to play a different deck for game two, because I'm willing to. Oh, definitely. <laughs> um, right, let's let's tap one, tap two, tap three. For a combat celebrant. Uh, if combat celebrant hasn't been exiled this turn, exiled, exerted this turn, you may exert it as it attacks. Whenever you do, untap all other creatures you control. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. So. Your. Slugs, Dalfort. They are one ones, right? They are one one. There are nine of them. There are nine of them. So there is plenty to jump block all my one one soldiers. And then we're all dead to. Uh, to sort of kind of triggers. Practically. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't think there's anything I can do. Um. Well, you come second, because that would be only 18. Because there's only nine of them can, can jump block. Yeah, but you don't get nine anyway. I, I make six, I think. Yeah, two right. at each player. Yeah. Okay. So, it doesn't kill us all, but it puts us in a bit of a position. Uh, and then anything that dies, you'll be getting back off that enchantment. Well, presumably, I don't get tokens, but no. Just you whenever, get tokens. Creature, yeah, whenever a creature you control dies, return it to the battlefield under my control with an additional plus one plus one counter on it at the beginning of the next end step. Yeah. That creature is like zombie in addition to its other colors and types. That's fair. I'm going to play an unlicensed hearse for two mana, and. 
to do. I feel like I should be doing stuff. Although Krovax can nearly just kill you. So I should just wait for Krovax to kill you. Yeah, I do have a pretty yeah. big bird swinging in. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. What's that? Roll. Untap that as well. Nope. Keep on. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to play a swamp, which comes in tapped because of value. It's a uh, non basic lands. Oh, non basic lands. Oh, All yeah. right, so it doesn't. That's nice. That changed my mind then. Now we might all be dead. Yeah. Mm. It's got to be done, hasn't it? No point having a big commander. The whole game's based around if you don't use it. So, That's commander true. will come in again. Uh, and I'll... And I'll pass the turn. I'm in Oh, yeah, your commander will be tapped. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Um, but his ability still happens, so everything gets a slime token. Yeah. Yeah. That, oh, my that will kill the uh, that will kill the bird token. Uh, oh, does Rancor not help it? No. It's just power for Rancor. Ah, uh, right. Cool. Yeah, and they'll return Rancor to my hand, and there's the, uh, you get a Slug and a Sir Conrad trigger, uh, trigger. Yeah, and okay. you'll have a Sir Conrad trigger off my Celebrant dying. So that's, so you guys all take two, and I get two Slugs. That come in tap. There's a failure. Yeah. And yeah. the combat Celebrant will come back into play with the Grave Betrayal. Oh, oh. yes. Nice. Yeah, so. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. Creatures you don't control get minus one, minus one. Is it a 2 2? It's four a one. 4 1. 4 1. A 4 1, and. Um, so if it hasn't been exerted this turn, you may exert it, yeah. and you untap everything. It, it? Yeah. Just put it there, and then you can. But it comes in tapped anyway, doesn't it? Yeah. Because of Thalia. Um, okay. Cool. I think that's all the triggers. For some reason, I'll put a counter on my uh, lightning greaves. I'll remove the counter. <laughs> Let's move it down there. Oh, Terramorphic Terramorphic expands. Does the Toxrill deck run com what? Com Comus Bell? Um, is that if that's a four cost artifact that makes all lands uh, all swamps creatures, yes. There you go. Sorry chat, I haven't got the deck list to hand to, to I, I put it I did put it in Discord. We can put it in the description when, when it goes yes. onto YouTube when we but yeah, the, Kieran told me about that combo, and I said, yeah, sorry, Ian. Because <laughs> it also runs the uh, Borg that makes all land swamps. So essentially, it, it, it destroys all the lands of your opponent. 
because oh. they become creatures. They become the lands. All lands are swamps, and then with that artifact, all swamps are one one creature. And then obviously at the end step of Toxrill, it puts a slime token on all the lands and oh, kills them. Okay. Which is why I asked whether it was too powerful or not when I sent you the deck list. Because land destruction is not nice. But quite clearly, this isn't nice <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, right, I forgot where we were up to, sorry. We're on Carl's turn. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. DC, Undead, Vizier, and Sacrifice the Apostle. Everyone, everyone takes a damage from the Conrad. And you also make a slow token because you had a oh. counter on him. Cool. Oh, I, get, oh, I got the four cell foot. Second, sorry? Oh, I got it. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, who are you going to choose as your opponent? I'm going to choose cell foot. So it's three life or it goes back. Um, well, what? Right, so what? So what happens when these two things are on the board? So, right. So if you if you take take three and go to the graveyard, you get it. Yeah. Okay. But if I don't pay three, then you get it back to your hand. Yeah. Yeah. And. As everybody knows, you never run only two shadows a possible hmm. thing, so you can have it back in your hand. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to quickly search for a card, which is why it took me so long to find <laughs> Coming up with his. Uh, actually, plan. I think that with the Grave Betrayal and the Athios, since Dalfour is not the active player, his Grave Betrayal. Well, uh, first the Athreos trigger goes on the stack, and then the Grave Betrayal ability goes on the stack. And so Grave Betrayal would happen first, and then the uh, Athreos ability would, would resolve. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, because they both care about the creatures dying, and it happens simultaneously. And the active player's abilities go on the stack first, and then all the other stuff goes onto the, onto the stack last. And then the... Uh, uh, the, right. gra the grave is, betrayal would 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 resolve first. Is the active uh, player okay. allowed to put them on the stack in an order or not? No. Only just... if you only if you own the triggers. And since you won't own cool. the grave betrayal trigger, you can't change the. Yeah, cool. uh, Thank you. You can't change the order for that. So so I do get one of them. Is it a one one? Yeah. One one. One one. Oh, one, yeah. one. Sack six of them. Go get a demon. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, cool. Which you're obviously running loads of demons in your deck. Yes, yeah, loads. I am. No oh, Carl is, yeah, definitely. Shut up, Rob. Um Well, technically, it's on my board. <laughs> yes, so... It's in none of those zones. Well, hopefully that exploit trigger can get something that's 
very helpful. Yeah, like a murder. <laughs> Conrad doing some work. You should have a counter on that as well because you're Shadowborn yeah. die. Um, oh, you also get an additional card draw and life loss from that, uh, from that exchange. Um, no, I'm not going to. It's a May. Oh, oh it's a May? Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So, I, is that four in the air, you see? Yeah. Yeah. And which ones of those have got slime tap counters on? Have they all got slime counters on? Everyone except the uh, DC. Uh, yeah. So is it still four, yeah? No, it's three. Three, cool. And it's one, isn't it? Not that I'm being pedantic, but... No, that's right. <laughs> cool. And, um... That's me done. Okay. At that point, I trigger an end step for everything else getting a slime token. Let's go on the right screen and do that. Add a counter. Another apostle died. So I get two apostles then. How many creatures die total from that? Just the one? I think so. Right. Then throw back. Right. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping for an untapped land. And play this tapped land. Well, it would have come into play tapped anyways. Um, always the value play. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, I'm going to pay six mana. And play Bounty of Might. It reads, target creature gets plus three, plus three, and it reads that three separate times. So I will give the Sigardian Zealot plus nine, plus nine total. And then I'm going to go to combat. And I'll have uh, the Zealot give itself uh, plus ten, plus ten, and Mr. Orfeo plus ten, plus ten. And then I will, and also Vigilance, and then I will swing both of them at Dalfort, and I will use uh, Orpheo's uh, trigger to double his own power. So he is a 18. I think he's an 18-1. Yeah, okay. he's an 18-1. Does he have Trample? He does not. That's why I needed the extra one mana. Okay. And also the zealots coming at you. And does that have trample? No. No. 
So if I just put two slugs under it, then I'm fine. Yeah. Cool. I'll do that. Was that what? What? What would kill your commander? Or was that enough? Uh, yeah, that's enough. He has uh, one power. He's or getting, excuse me, one toughness. He's getting toughness but, off the of zealot, though, right? No. Oh yeah, yes, actually, yes, he does. Yeah. He does get toughness off of his zealot. Oh, okay. so he is a. Uh, 1811. Okay, cool. Yeah, so yeah. just do that. So, so two slugs die, and everyone takes two. And then I will go to my instep, and I think that kills both of my creatures when the effects wear off. And with the state-based action, I'll put Orfero back into the command zone. And then you'll get the uh Guardian Zealot from the Grave Betrayal. Guardian Zealot. And my Thalia dies. And then I've got two going. So that's two, four. Of stuff. How, how many Man. is that, the dice? Five? I've got two going. So two from Krovax is two, yeah. two from me is four. How many from Carl, sorry? Another two? Uh, one. One from Carl, so that's five total. And was that... Did you say the Thalia had gone? Yeah. Yeah. So if I have a Thalia, that's all your stuff coming in tap then? Yeah. I don't think it matters. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so you get an Adeline, but then my I think my commander goes to the the command zone, right? If I choose to. Well, yeah. it would it would go to the graveyard, but as a state based action before priorities passed, uh, you get to choose to put it into the command zone okay. or not. Brilliant. That's but if you leave it in the graveyard, he'll be able to seal it. Nah. 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 You can, nah. You can have an Adelaide in there. What? what? That's the one whose power is equal to the number of creatures you control. And then whenever, okay. whenever you swing, it's the, like you said, the myriad trigger. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Another counter goes on there. So next turn, that one's dead. And that is it for me. Oh, cool. oh so do these all come in tapped still or not? Because mm, of... No. Uh, it's not... Well, no. Because no. Uh, she would be dead and then the ability would trigger and she's no okay. longer in play. Cool. Okay, so those three come in untapped. You also get the additional slug tokens that would come in untapped. Okay, cool. Which was five, five or was five, I believe. Yep. Yeah. That's twelve. So there. Cool. I went graveyard. Uh, end step. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you exile two cards down for right, you graveyard. Exile two cards. Yeah, two creatures only got if you've one. got them. Oh, okay, just like nope. one. I've only got one so okay. okay. But that's no exile. Yep. Yeah. And then I go to my turn. That doesn't do anything. I don't think that does anything. Command to cost five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh, that's just rubbish. I think we're all dead. All dead, Dave. Uh, okay. Tap in four. I'll play a uh, brutal horde chief. Okay, that so comes in tapped because I've got the Thalia. Ah, yeah, that does come in tapped because you've got the Thalia. Sorry. No, that's fine. Um, pass it down. This deck is rude. <laughs> right, so everything gets another slime token at your end step. Oh, yeah, which kills this. Oh, <laughs> uh, fine. So that's one damage from the uh, Conrad? Yep. Anything oh. else dying? I think that's it. So I get another slug for that, don't I? Yeah, and this creature. Which was uh, a blank. Kazool. Right, it's a blank card for yeah, now. I think you got us this turn. So. Yeah, yeah. Are you done then? Yes, mate. Untap everything. 
draw just so that I see what it is. going to tap um, two swamps and two more somewhere else. It'll do. But York Moth, just because. You need to finish um, this game. <laughs> yes, yeah, going to be, going just to be isn't swing. it? Just Right. So, Crovax is out anyway. There's, there's nothing in the way there. Oh, and I've knocked the slugs off there. There's only three slugs on there, so that's 16 slugs. Get that out of the way. What's in the way there, Carl? You just wasted him. Uh, one, one, one creature. Yeah. One creature. Okay, cool. One, three. Well, if you send three creatures, three of your one ones my way, your Thalia will make, or not Thalia, uh, Adeline will make an additional one. Tapped and attacking me for four. Yeah. And then uh if you just Chris hope. doesn't have have any blockers, he probably just send his Adeline at him uh -huh. and just send the rest to Carl and that should be enough to Yeah, and cool. if, if it isn't you can skull clamp oh. all your slugs. Yes. That's yeah, like, true. That's where you got it. It's like yeah. you don't need to get Well you wouldn't have to you wouldn't really have to skull clamp them because he could just pay two life with uh Yogmoth and sacrifice them. Oh, I'll let you off then for playing Yogmoth. Same trigger and not have to <laughs> yeah. spend the mana. I thought you were just playing yeah. it for the sake of playing it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was. I got it. So yeah, so do what do what Crowbax just said. Yeah. Send everything at. Well, you would send three one ones at me. Yeah. And so, then the yeah. uh, and then the created token would uh would knock me out. Just uh, send probably just the Adeline at Chris. And then everything else at Carl. Right. Okay. Cool. What he said. Yes, definitely. You got us. Yep. GG's. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the end of the video. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'd just like to give a thank you to our patron, Ed, and give you all a reminder that you can go and check us out on Patreon for a booster a month sent to your door and great discounts on our card market. So feel free to check out the link in the description.